Do you love to play Magic Online but have a tight budget? Check out MTG Academy's Academy Budget Bot in the Magic Online Classifieds. All cards in stock are cheaper than one event ticket. Welcome to round two of our daily event. We have won the dice roll, so we're going to play first. And this hand would be so sweet if it had one more land. I mean, we could keep it. Any land basically gets us there, because we have Satyr Wayfinder and Sylvan Keratid, and Grizzly Salvage, which, uh, with the Swamp, we get there. But I don't think we can keep it. If we miss, it's so bad. But then again... Yeah, we have to mulligan this. <laughs> Alright, this hand... Doesn't have any, like, graveyard fillers, but it's definitely okay. We can definitely keep it. It's actually pretty weak. Cause this, uh, this doesn't do anything yet. But, like, if we draw one commune or one grizzly salvage, our hand's sweet. Uh, so we're not going to mulligan it. And our opponent also mulliganed. So we're going to play a swamp and play our death right and say go. Um, we don't have any need to play Orgrim Tomb untapped yet, so... Ooh. Mono Red. I was actually worried about this matchup, just because it seems like it's pretty bad. Um, Death Rite Shaman is one of our better cards, but we have no way to fuel our graveyard. Oh, for Against them, we just need to get out like a Nemesis of Mortals as quickly as possible, and just try to go big. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen this game. Not like... We don't have any way to fuel our graveyard. And we don't have that much life gain in the main deck. We do have a Whip of Everwills on our sideboard, but outside of that, there's nothing really besides a Whip and uh, Death Rite. So we are going to block if he gives us the opportunity to. Yep, because this way we play around Searing Blood, our Jared gets bigger, and we don't take any damage. He could have a Rubbleback Maka. I know some decks are playing that, but he doesn't, so that's sweet. I'm really happy about that. He Mulgan also, so it's uh, a lot better for us. Like, uh, red decks need every card they can have, they possibly get to uh, win games. Okay, Burning Tree into another one. Okay. So here we're looking for like a Sylvan Keratid, or a Satyr Wayfinder, or another Death Rise Shaman. Okay. We're actually going to block again if he gives us the chance. Because once again, we have no way to fill up our graveyard. We could gain like a couple life. But there's a good chance this dies fairly quickly, so it's better just to trade it off as soon as possible. And it also makes our Jared a 4 4. Or Gerard. Jared. Whatever. <laughs> and then pretty soon we play the Shadowborn Demon and at least kill something. And he doesn't have any removal spells for our death right yet, it looks like. Or if he does, he's not willing to use them. Like, this is so fragile, I'm just willing to trade off as soon as possible. Alright, so yeah, we're snap blocking. So we're going to 18, then we get to play 4-4. Four, four. Searing Blood, I had no idea why he wouldn't do that before blockers. Uh, we would have taken two more damage, but that's okay by me. So we're going to 15. Alright, you're just Sylvan Keratin. A little, little late. <laughs> we do get player Jared now. It's pretty big. It's been hard for him just to kill without two for one himself. Uh, this turn, we're going to actually block the Burning Tree. I think. If he doesn't play land, we'll block the Fire Drinker, but he might have a land in that way. He could pump it up to four power, and then it would trade. But actually, that might be fine. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Our opponent only has two cards in hand, so that's pretty good. And we're still at 15 life. Um, both our sources of life gain are actually in our graveyard. And I don't think we have a way to get them back in the main deck. This should be fine. Jared is a pretty good wall right now. The next turn, at the very least, we could play Sylvan Keratid. We might be able to play this and kill something. I actually want to hold this, because that seems like a really good threat. Alright, our opponent has a fourth land. So we could block this and make him pump it twice. Or our opponent just... uh. He's going to two for himself. But he's in good shape. Um, we have nothing in play. I really hope we draw a land so we can uh, play the Shadowborn Apostle. We could also sacrifice both our lands and just play Jared again. He has no cards in hand. We're going to 11. Let's see what we draw. 
Night Howler. V3-3. Okay, we're just going to play that. It's big enough to tangle with uh, both those guys. Oh, it's 4-4. Four, four. It's all graveyards. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. We can uh, block. It's, he's not going to be able to draw a removal spell to kill this. So that was a, that was a fine draw. Like, we have a lot of good draws against him. I think we want to... We do want to block the fire drinker just because it saves the most damage. Let's see what he decides to do. He could send just the fire drinker and I'll block. Or he can send both and I'm still just going to block the fire drinker. Oh, sending both. Okay, we're going to block here. It'll save us the most uh, damage. Alright, yes, yeah, so he's going to pump it twice. So he's going to a 13. And we're going to 9. Alright, we're going to play Commune first. Hmm. Let's see. I think I actually want... I don't want the Herald's Hormat, definitely not that. We can take Law of the Troll. I think I'm going to play the Sylvan Carriage no matter what. Because next turn we cast Shadowborn and we'll have tons of creatures in our graveyard. So I think we're going to take the troll. But we're going to play the Sylvan Carotid. Oh, just magical on reminding me that the downtime is coming up very soon. So we can't burn this. So we're free to block. Um, he does have two cards in hand. So we are in like a three lightning bolt range or lightning strike. So we're use one. He does have Syrian Bloods. Just got to double check. Make sure we do have six creatures in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this guy's fine. He's just a five, six flyer for five now. Really nice if we draw a land. That way we can kill one and still have the Sylvan character back. And the Shadowborn Apostle to block both his guys. All three of his guys. Okay. Surprised he didn't play that last turn. Like he could have played it first main phase and pumped his uh fire drinker for one and then attacked. See what we draw. All right, we drew a wayfinder. So if we play the demon, we kill one, we block one, we go to seven. We could also just play both of these guys and say go. We can, this one we can generate, and we can just block block. I think that's fine. If he has a burn spell. It's a little bit worse. Also, if he has Chandra's Phoenix. Um, so hopefully. We do hit a land that we can play Shadowborn next turn. And we do... Um, if we get the Swamp, we can generate twice. But we only have two green. Uh, I think it's still worth it. That's the best option right now. So just in case something goes wrong, we can generate him twice. So he definitely won't die. Say so go. Also, Jared's huge, by the way. We can uh, get back that pretty, like, with a couple turns after we play the Shadowborn. And this is a very good clock, too. This is a three-turn clock. So we are blocking with the Sator if he attacks. Or Satur. I think I pronounced that wrong. The Y is after the T. His opponent has one card in hand, he's thinking. Worst case scenario is, like, Syrian Blood. Because he kills this, we go to six, we take two, we go to four. And he's not doing it. Oh, he's not doing it quite yet. So that's good. Nothing. Okay, sweet. Hopefully, just another uh, random creature. Nothing he wanted to use or a basic land. So we're gonna play a land just so we can uh, make sure we have enough to regenerate. And we can also sack two lands and get back Jared in turn. Oh, does this require mana sacrifice? Nope. Just uh, just have to sacrifice them. So we'll kill here. And we'll just say go. I don't think this two damage from the troll matters, and it's worth it just to have an extra security blocker.
We could also wait till our turn to sacrifice the lands. That way we get to use the mana from them. That seems fine. So we can't burn us out quite yet. He only has two cards in hand. But, like, if he just throws burn spells at us, end the turn's pretty bad. Ooh, Herald's Formant could be good. We put it here at attack for 10, put him in 3. But I think it's just too risky. So we'll just attack here. And we have a kill next turn. So we'll tap these. Activate Jared. Sacrifice our basic lands. I don't think it matters. Nothing to punish us for non basic lands in standard right now. We also end a turn sacrifice this. He goes to three. I guess if we could attack with this and he didn't block, could have killed him. So we should have casually put in 11 11. So I s assume Burn Spells are going to be aimed at our head right now. No. Okay. So it makes it very unlikely that we lose now just because he would have to end a turn Lightning Strike us, then untap like Syrian Blood and Lightning Strike us. But since he didn't do that, and we're actually protected from uh, Syrian Blood because we can sacrifice any creature besides himself, and Syrian Blood can never kill Jared from this point, so I don't think it matters. Let's see what our opponent has to say. Alright, we got there. Let's go sideboarding. I think we want Duress seems fine. Whip is obviously an auto-include. Uh, Brup Decay. Gari Charm could be okay. Um, could also be pretty weak. I don't think we need Needle. Like They could have Chandra, but I'm not too worried about that. We can take out some of our mana guys. Like death. Uh, I still want Deathrite Shaman, so take out the Mystics. And some Herald of Torments. Mm. I, I was taking these out because there's less targets for Syrian Blood. We still have Seder Wayfinder, so. And we're not going to take those out, so let's see. Maybe I still just want these. And just get punished if he kills them. Hmm. We also take out some of the like, communes and grizzlies just because uh, they take too much time to work, like, do, but they seem so good. I guess we'll just take out all the Herald of Torments. Like, one damage can mean a lot, and it just seems so risky. Go ahead and submit this. So we have less less threats. I think we're in okay shape. Like, a lot of troll seems really good against them. And all we need to do is land a whip, and we should be in great shape. So we're on the draw, and this hand is pretty much unkeepable. We have one Duress, a card we can't cast, Nemesis Immortals, and five lands. So we're going to Mulligan. Our opponent kept his seven. I'm actually not going to Mulligan this, because we're on the draw. We only have one land, but we have this Satyr Wayfinder to hopefully find something. And our first draw is like the worst in the deck, Nemesis Immortals. So our opponent started out with the Fire Drinker Seder. So this hand was risky, but I think it's better than any mulligan to five, just because of potential. If we just draw one land, our hand is a uh, turn on and really good. So we're taking at least two this turn. I'd be happy if he pumps, because uh, I don't want him to plot uh, to add more threats to his board. And we whiffed. So this is going to be a pretty quick game, unfortunately. Maybe I should cut one of these, just because uh, drawing multiple seems terrible. Okay, Burning Tree. Must have just drawn that. Because he probably would have played it last turn. And the Chandra's Phoenix. Yep, that's pretty bad for us. We got a 13... And next turn, we're going to at least 9. Oh, and we need to draw land. So I'm just going to concede. Yep, we are very dead. Oh, there was two more draws before we hit land. So now we're going to be on the play. I'm actually going to take out a Nemesis and add a Elvish Mystic back in. This seems fine. We could actually have Heralds. That seems okay, too. Just We do lose life from them. But they do block everything in this deck. The odds are they'll just die to a removal spell before they actually kill us. 
They seem better on the play. So I'm going to take these out, take a lot, another Nemesis, and a Jared. And I'll just keep two in. So we have less fatties, but we're, our deck's more streamlined. Because drawing, drawing two of these is just terrible. We only really draw, want to draw one. And Jared's legendary, so if we have draw two, it's really bad for us. And we'd like to play first. And let's mulligan that hand. Um, this hand's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Both draw Grizzly Salvage or uh, Commune with the Gods. We should be okay. It does have lands and spells. So we'll play over on Tomb. We won't pay life. And we drew our one of two of our... Uh, so yeah, our hand is uh, pretty awkward. But our opponent did not have a one drop, which is very good for us. Because it's time to uh, draw out of it. Which we did. We drew a lot of trolls. So I'm actually not going to play it. Because I'd rather just keep regeneration mana up. If he's searing bloods, it's pretty terrible for us. Hopefully he just plays like a creature. Like a uh, Acidel and we just kill it. So we need to draw some graveyard fillers pretty quickly. So our opponent plays one burning tree emissary into uh, nothing. So we'll go ahead and kill this now. That's pretty awkward. Drew a land. So we draw a green source. We can cast this nemesis actually pretty quickly. We might actually also not want to discard the Shadowborn because it can kill something. It's not going to live. We're not going to be able to fill up our graveyard that fast. But it'll be okay. I'll just be like a removal spell, then like a fog because he can't attack. Alright. Boros Reckoner. Okay. We're going to play our Mystic. Play our Swamp. Say go. Well, actually, if he attacks, I'll just take three, and then I'll play Shadowborn Demon and kill the Reckoner. He might kill our Mystic. So I could block and discard the Shadowborn. But then he'd definitely kill our Mystic, and we can't cast either of the cards in our hand. If we uh, don't block, there's a chance he doesn't kill this. But if he if he realizes like that we need the mana, he probably will. So we're going to at least 17. You might have rollback Maka, which he doesn't. Another Reckoner, okay. So we're going ahead and uh, play the Demon. We're going to kill one, kill the untap one. I guess we'll attack for two here. I'm not going to block. I don't think he has any ground haste creatures. So one plan we could be doing is we could just like sacrifice the troll, attack for five, and play uh, Nemesis Immortals. And not just... But then like we have to worry about this Reckoner. I'll probably just keep it on defense though. We could also block. Um, we'll take five. But then the Reckoner's dead. He might actually shoot back here. Or he could first strike kill the demon, which I'm okay with that too. So I don't know if we're going to block yet. Um, so we'll go to 12. He has 5 cards in hand. Probably a lot of burn spells. Well, <laughs> more than likely. He has a mono red deck. I think we're just going to take the 3. And go to 14. Oh, Mizzy Mourners, okay. So he does care about the Shadowborn Demon, which is sweet for us, because we don't. And we can Grizzly Salvage first and try to hit a forest, and then hit enough creatures to keep this in play. Or we can just play it. Oh, we have to tap out for that. Actually, I want to dig. I want to find some more action, so I'm going to play this Grizzly Salvage. 
And not much action there, so we'll just take a forest. We can take the other nemesis, but they can't cast either of them this turn. We jump just enough. We'll attack for two. Actually, we'll just make it three. That mystic isn't going to do too much, and we can jump block with this mystic if necessary. So still the, does have this reckoner, which can make us hard to attack with our nemesis immortals. But if we draw, like we did put our Herald of Torments back in. Stormbreath Dragon, what the, in the world? Okay. Take seven, we go to seven. That's a pretty good draw. We're actually gonna kill his dragon. We're gonna attack for eight. And we're gonna leave this Elvish Mystic back to chump block. So that's one of the best draws in the deck. Another good draw would have been Whip. So he has two cards in hand. I don't think we're dead. Well, actually, two Lightning Strikes kills us because we have the Chump Lock. Act of Treason's pretty good. Okay. Any Burn Spell kills us because he just kills the Mystic. Nothing we can really do about that because we have no other Flyer Blockers to leave back. So I don't think he has the win. Either he wants to begin combat. Okay. Let's see if he kills our mystic. Well, that or just a burn spell will just kill us. So we're going to one. I can't imagine us surviving. Look, but if he doesn't kill us, which will be a miracle, we actually uh, win this game. So we're taking one. He has one card in hand. Either he's the most savage uh, slow roller of all time, or we are actually going to win this game. And we have one, two, three, only four creatures, so we have to sacrifice the Lala Troll. Needle? Okay. Well, that worked out perfectly, so he's just dead. We can sacrifice any creature and attack for eight. I'm sorry, he has nothing in his graveyard. He can flash back. He can't. Yeah, all right. Works out pretty good for us. So it uh, looks like we're going to go on 2 and 0. I can't imagine us uh, misplaying this turn unless we just skip our attack step. Jared, okay. Um, so with the sacrifice of creature. Oh, I guess we'll just sacrifice this. And we'll attack for uh, lethal. <laughs> I'm seeing if I'm try trying to figure out if I missed anything. We got the GG from our opponents. Alright, we won. Awesome, we're 2-0, and we're doing really well with this stretch deck.